And welcome to part four of episode two of Game of Thrones, the final part. Would you look at the size of this army? Seems the Targaryen guild may take the city soon enough. We'll find Croft here somewhere. <sighs> You're right. So it's not looking well for. No, it fucking hurts, Asher. K, uh, K, K something. Slice. No. Stuff. What's her name? Had my face clawed off. I want to say Kavira, but Bloody that's not dragon. right. I think. I think that was a wolf. At least you also. don't smell half as bad as you did a day uh, ago. Nope, it's gone. Asher's friend. I'll go and find this croft. Two swords. That guy's Malcolm. Look, Asher, Her name back in is. Ah, oh, God, what it's killing me. It Beska. Beska. Right? Beska. You must have I think that's only it, yeah. one of us was making it out. It's not fair to ask. Yeah, I, I kind of left her for dead at the hands of a dragon. But, um. There you go. You don't flinch from anything. I knew you could handle yourself. My uncle, on the other hand. <laughs> That's a pretty good answer, actually. <sighs> Fuck. I think she believed it. I just... I thought... Forget it. I'm so sorry. Look, I am. You're my friend. My partner. My sister. That's code I'm for one of them has friends own the other. That's horse shit, and, right. and given her background and his, home. I'm guessing she was like, "Yeah, I understand. I've been friend zoned by him." Your family, but there's nothing for me with you in Westeros. I'll help you get your arm. Westeros, then... not Westeros. I'm done. Beska, I, I don't Asha. understand. Well, your friend zoned her, and she wants to bang you. I, I can see it from here. This Croft, how well do you know him? Too, Too well. well. I thought you said Ooh. we were friends. Yeah, we are. We are. Great friends. Yep, that's, that's about the sum of it. Son of a poxy whore. You have some balls walking in. It looks quite tough. All these years with that mama's monkey grin on your face. I tell oh. you, mamas have a lot bigger part in that's the books. It. You're losing your edge, Croft. You know you're right. I should kill you. Good fucking advice. Whoa, no, no. <laughs> I wasn't actually suggesting. I, I like the look you on his face there. The just like, shit. Asher. One stupid mistake cost me an eye. You know Whose mistake? You figured you'd steal from me and I'd just forgive you? <laughs> Not a fucking chance. Any, any time two men ever grab you like that, you know you're in trouble. Your tongue. Take my balls. Oh, no. Be reasonable. I am reasonable. I'm letting him fucking choose. To be fair to the man, that is quite reasonable. Well, you, you know, if, if you're Joffrey. Your fucking tongue. Croft, I deserve your anger as much as Asha. Don't worry, Beska. You're next. Now choose, or I slice off your balls, Asha. Ah, perfect. <laughs> just hey, hey, just hey, what hey, I wanted. My trust. Fucking bastard. Take a hand. I can always kill you with the other. Done. I know which hand. Oh. Okay. I was, I was just thinking, which hand? And then he just went for it. Yeah. Okay, Malcolm in the background. He's like... Are you fucking joking? You bloody bastard. This is why people steal your shit and take off in the night. Come on, you arseholes. Come on, you arseholes. <laughs> not an odd thing to say. The Khaleesi's best wine. Your friend has an interesting sense of humour. So what in seven hells are you two doing here on the arse end of the earth, eh? You're a long way from young guy. Your sword was always the quickest, Croft. I need you and your men to fight for me in Westeros. We need your hellhounds. A hundred good men. I think that's the name of his uh, of his mercenary army. Would I ever go back to Westeros? I've got it good right here. Her grace pays good coin. Did this Khaleesi make you a house cat, Croft? Curled up at her feet. Since when do you turn down an adventure? Since the second son swore to Daenerys bloody Targaryen. I've laid my sword at her feet, Asher. Perhaps we could talk to her. She's a little busy right now, commanding a fucking siege. Her enemies are nailing children up on posts for a hundred miles. Yeah. 
and a bloody dragon's gone missing. Trouble then. <laughs> Trouble then. I know where to find a dragon. <laughs> Unfucking likely. You expect me to believe you just happened to have seen the one fucking dragon loose in the world. Stranger things Impossible. could happen. Covered in black scales, big orange eyes, and breath like the doom of Valeria. That doesn't prove anything. Enough of this nonsense. Beska, show him. <laughs> A dragon did that. <laughs> so you rolled over into the bloody campfire in your sleep. Croft. I've seen her dragon. I didn't actually see what the other option is. Oh, I assumed it was the, the dragon's scare. tooth, but if you're lying about this, I'll take a lot more than your hand. Fair enough. Come on, you son of a bitch. The beast's name is Drogon. So you'll want to hear about him right away. And don't so think you're going to I, I think this guy he works for he's in the Second Sons mercenary group, which Dario Naharis is like the head of. And I, I think like his little subdivision is called the Hellhounds. Because obviously it can't just be one man and then a, like two hundred men or whatever. It would be like one man, he has fifty men, he, who's commanded by someone. Yeah, it's like a cell structure is what I'm saying. I think there's two thousand of them, like twenty men of a hundred each, something like that. Big day tomorrow, isn't it? Off the Craster's Keep, assuming you're ah, it's Finn. too busy looking for your North Grove. I thought you didn't believe in it. Not saying I do, but if it was real, can you trust Potter with it? You ask me. Is there something off about him? Yeah, he's a wild lad. Aside from him being an oily thief, I mean, Potter's not a bad sort. <laughs> I trust him. Even after he tried stealing your map. That's some nice framing there. They've got two yeah. fires lined up, so they have to animate We're one fire. That's that. That is some fucking thinking there. I can trust. Finn, get back on watch until your relief arrives. They're late. You think Mance Raider is going to wait for them? Right. Possibly. Asshole. And Tuttle, you've got torches that have gone out. Keep them lit. Let the wildlings know we're still oh, God, I've got an itchy shoulder blade. It's the worst. Ah, that's better. Right, lighting torches. X is the next thing to do. Uh, it's very important you you don't miss any because if you if you miss them, that's where Mance will attack. Mance for his army of wildlings and an indiscriminate number of giants. Oh, some shields. Oh, I can do with them. That's iron wood for sure. So use is code for kick the shields. All right, do the change. Yep, good. Support beams. So I, I like when they show the top of the wall and it's like it's more built than. Uh, than just like the top of a wall with nothing. It shows there's like actually shit going down. I wonder if the lift will get here as soon as I like this. I mean that that would be a strange coincidence, wouldn't it? Oh, I actually didn't. Fair play to it. Where spears? Where? Uh, have I missed one to light? See, only problem with this game, when it throws you these little sections like this, it's like, it, it's so clearly for people who don't really play games. Oh, that was actually on a timer. I like that. I'll allow it. Pig farmer. Oh no, it's, um, mile walk. what's his name? Still in my way. Forget his name. I figured we'd settle things on the way to Craftus, but this is even better. I don't have any time for you anymore, Brett. I hate you. You hate me. Now let's move on. Had something more painful in mind. What? I did duty to my lord back on that bloody farm. And for doing a proper job of it, what I get? Banished to the fucking wall! In theory, you should feel a bit sorry for him, because he, he was literally doing his job. Like, if he'd have said no, he'd have probably been flayed. It's a difficult situation to be in. 
like a pig. Seemed only fear he should feel what it's like. Near the end, he could barely breathe. Kept begging us to leave your sister alone. So I made sure he was still alive when she started screaming. Did you, uh... That's the last thing your father ever heard. Did you rape my sister? The more we slice the wood... You're not worth it. I didn't come here to chat, you fucking cunt. We're on A, just for reference. A. I've said it a few times, so I remember. I didn't fight like that. I think I've got a bit of a fight coming on. And I thought you were going to make this oh, easy. Oh, never mind. Stop, damn it! I don't want to fight you! What's the matter? That came out of nowhere, didn't it? Alright, build up to it. Come on, come on. Stop! Let's see if you scream like your sister. Lunge. That's good work, Sam. Good work. Yep, that's some nice clipping on those swords. One can respect that. Oh, X is the next choice as well. I should, I should remember that, hopefully. It's difficult. You got lucky, pig farmer. You're going to slaughter me. Like my man back at your farm. At least let me have my sword. Keep it interesting. Why would I do that? I swore my vows. I won't kill a brother. You're fucking pathetic, Tuttle. Oh, ne nearly stopped paying attention. Why is the next choice? Don't burn me, you bitch. I thought I'd fuck that up then. I definitely didn't quite push it fast enough. Uh, okay, go for his face. <laughs> oh, oh, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, I can get on board with that. That, mu that must have done him some damage. That that head blow. Oh, fuck. Is he gonna lunge or throw it? Do a roll, forward roll. Okay, he's yeah, he's down now, isn't he? Oh, I fucked his eye up. I must be when I smash his head in the ground. Yep. Very, he's, he's, he's just holding a stick at this point. I didn't think he'd do that. He just stabbed him in the arm. There was no logic to those two choices I made. I, did, I just sort of went with instinct to that point. What were the options there? I forgot to read them. One was make it suffer, and one was kill him. I didn't see what the bottom one was. Presumably it was not those. And now we just slowly kick him off the wall. Alright, Finn. You, uh. You got my back? Finn. Come back. Shit. So, yeah, that can only end badly, can't it? Where are we? Uh, we're, on, we're at B on the button pushing scale. My lord, our people are starving and afraid. The White Hills have driven them away from the Ironwood Groves. Out of the way! This means the small folk who don't live in the in the keep, I think. And so they come to us. Looking for food. Food we don't have to spare. How can we support an army and retain our position in the north? If we can't even feed the people we see before us. It's like the dead winter's come. No one has more fight in them than Asher. I'm sure he and Malcolm will find us the army. That's we great. Need. He brings us an army we can't afford well, hope we can and we can't feed out. them. As long as the white they may just be our, our enemies when they get here. Careful. Come on, you. Let me go. You can't do this. Oh, good. But, uh, You're here. <laughs> Look at this. She did bite you see what this girl did? She attacked my man like an animal. Bloody bit me. Yeah, now it's her turn. She's going to get what she has coming to her. To be fair, she doesn't look injured, and this that man has been bitten punished. quite hard. Do no such thing. I won't allow it. That's not for you to decide. Who is it for to decide? <laughs> I saw him stealing from our kitchen, and I told him to stop. He laid his hands on me, so I bit him. Bloody wench. I was only doing what had to be done. I warned you not to mistreat my men. <sighs> Something funny about Someone him stealing from the kitchens, isn't there? 
Do you hear me? Thieves have to be punished. So your man got what he deserved. He's lucky he didn't get any worse than that. So you've given over your duties to this girl, then? Or can you not control your sister? Don't listen to him, Roderick. And if you can't rein her in... Yeah, what, what about the rest of them? It's about time she saw a real lord again and learned proper discipline. They've what? all been missing that. So now this house has gone to rot. And the problem starts at the top, Roderick. Can we just Careful, kill them, Lord. please? You yourself had the gall to make threats against my men. And that's the real problem with you foresters. You're too fucking proud. Always have been. It was bad enough when you were above us. Can someone just punch him? Like, worse. It's really hard and a few times. Far you've fallen. Still high enough to look down at you. <laughs> Wait. Christ. Forgive her. For a woman, she has got some Forgive massive bollocks on her. Of youth. No one questions your authority, Griff. You have the power. By the power of Griff. Oh, I like him. Nah, that doesn't work. You thought work. this was your man, Roderick? He's mine. A dog to be sure, but my dog. What? What was that? That's how I like to see you, foresters. Obedient servants. Punch him, punch him, punch him. Oh. Oh, yes. I've got a semi right now from that. Roderick. Now I'll have to put you in your place. I mean, he barely seemed to feel it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is an error. You will learn some fucking humility. Uh, Clark, oh, this could be you... The last lesson I teach you, foresters. Have you no honour? I'll run you through for that. I'll cut you down like straw men. Stand down, Roy. Damn it, Royland. Or Clark. You're useless to me. As you wish. You're barely even a man. I bet this makes you angry, eh? You probably want to get up and hit me. But we know how that would go, don't we? Now, are you going to be a good little forester? Learn your lesson? And stay down? I thought that if, he, Roderick. if he could just gouge his eyes out like super fast. I'm guessing I said get up then, because I'm now getting up. I, I didn't actually look. I will not yield. You. This is actually the scene I meant earlier, I think. Why don't you fucking get it? Currently on why. Get up, Roderick. Stay down, my lord. Yep. Sir. Ethan didn't know his place either. Ramsay Snow taught him good. No one liked Ethan, though, did he? He was. Unless you're a good Small, forester, slight, weak, if you will. Place. Like and Robin, without all down. the weirdness. Some forester is gonna learn their lesson today. Oh, I'll stay down. Hmm. <laughs> is he gonna piss on him? Oh, I felt dirty. Girl, you submitted to Griff Whitehall. Lesson for you. You'd be wise to follow his lead. As would all of you. Your lord is a smart man. First in his line that understands. Now you need to understand too. You can be lord, Roderick. So long as we all know who holds the reins here. Come on. Yeah, he might get bucked off that. No, he's gone. Didn't even mark anyway. You did the right thing, my son. You had to submit. Aye. A true lord. But we... Was he being serious? He let them win. Ever won the battle, but the war is far from over. I think you'll find. Which is actually Rob Stark's mistake. He won all the battles, but he lost the war. Okay, so they, they did a scene change there, but it was very much from Roderick to Roderick, which is a curious one. That? I think this might be nearly the end of the episode. He still acts like he rules the house, but he's let his guard down. So, did he get what he wanted, or did you? Well... At the time, I... I wanted you to crush him. Yes, so did I. Time to fight. Let them think they've won. 
until we're ready to strike. Yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna suspend you, love, from the ceiling and drop your massive scrote upon his face and it'll crush him and his men. I asked Ethan not to change who he was. Very violent. I tried to make him Vivid promise me. I did that. I now know that was childish of me. I'm ready to change now. I'm willing to do anything to help our family. I mean it, Roderick. Anything? I don't care what. I'll do it. Oh. That's good. I'm sure a time will come when our house will call upon you to do what's necessary. I know it's dishonest, that but can we just now. poison them and kill them in their sleep? And I'm sure... And I'm not talking like, you know, the sort of poison where you eat it and you die immediately. I I'm talking, let's give them the shits. You can't fight when you got the shits, can you? But no one can know the future. Can't even stand for the most part. Whatever tomorrow brings, Talia, the foresters will stand tall. We did it. Look, it's a speak over monologue. So this is the uh, the contract she has with Tyrion, which uh, we're on keep as it happens. I can't. What? After everything, we just I can't burn it. There's no way Tom can read, is there? So he doesn't know what that is. Look, an unsullied. The just to the left there. Now. The more spikes on the helmet, the more senior their rank. He's right. not very senior at all. He's got one spike. Of my dragons, choose your words carefully. Oh, is that it? Is that the end of the episode? I'm not certain, but I think I might have timed the parts of this a little bit better than last time. Next but time I, I don't really know. Game of Thrones. So, what exciting what stuff will happen? Frostfinger is calling for your head. Uh, yeah. Tell me, Grit's dead. Sort of repeat of X Men One, where yeah. Rogue runs away doing? there because she yeah. thinks she's in trouble when Just she isn't. Just tell me what's going on. What are you hiding from me? We are weak. We have no allies. We have some Grit allies. Claims to be the new Lord of Ironrath. There's been a raven from Lord Whitehill. He's invited us to High Point. Drogon Good. wouldn't have attacked without reason. Bullshit. By order of the Queen. I... Fuck you and your Queen. Deal with your friend. Nothing ever stays in the past, Asha. Oh, Besk has got a secret. It's time to go. Something's going on with the Night's Watch. I don't know what. Something. Alright, let's have a look at the decisions. One of the more fun bits. So, number one, you and 49% saved Malcolm. So it's about a 50 50 split of people. Who either saved Malcolm or Beska. I'm guessing it doesn't matter which one you save, the other one survives, because it seems that way. You and 48.9% defied Marjorie and spoke to Tyrion. So again, about a 50 50 split on that one. I don't know why he's so green there. 1.9% remained silent at Brit's end, which is actually very impressive. Uh, that is, that's a tiny amount doing that, isn't it? That's basically. Pretty, almost no one, really. Um, I wonder what difference it would have made. A good majority submitted to Griff Whitehall. That's interesting. See, in another playthrough I've done of this episode, you don't submit to Griff Whitehall, and it actually comes out quite strongly in your favour, or so it seems. I don't know if it does in the end, but people seem to respect you for it, and Griff loses the respect of his men to a certain extent. But I submitted... Which also means that Griff is is not on guard anymore, apparently. So, you know. And then 70% kept the iron with the Kree. Now, I did this in my other playthrough as well. Now, the reason I did it in that one is because I, I thought the reason that you went to his room to get the iron with the Kree is so that no one destroyed it. And in, the, in keeping it, you can you can still use it. You can like say, yeah, this is happening. This is a this is a royal decree. It doesn't matter that it came from Tyrion. It's just... It's just a thing that's happening. It's a contract. So like, the idea of burning it seems pointless. But I now realise the idea of burning it is so that you're not linked to Tyrion in any way and and get killed as a result of it. So it's, it's an intriguing one. And I feel the fact that the majority keep the decree is because, like me, the first time they got to it, they were like, why the fuck would I burn this? This is amazing. 
But now on on further inspection, I realised oh, I don't want this. So yeah, that was uh, that was all of the sword in the darkness. Join me next time for whatever it's called. I don't know, dragon tits. <laughs>